with the DMP3, once the analysis feature has been switched on for all the masters hanging on to the same slave, the certainty becomes less. So it's up to the slave to generate how much of unsolicited data and how often he send them and how quickly they can send them. So that's why the DMP3 network usually requires a very in-depth design before the implementation and go through the client's specification and requirement to find out exactly how often the clients want to see the data, to see the alarms from each site and how important those data are to the clients as well. For example, some of the data like intruder's fault or the total plan failure is highly critical to the client's operation. We then will switch on answer messages feature for those data points. In some other circumstances, we want to turn unsolicited messages off. For example, in the power system industry, the user is more concerned about the certainty of the data than the immediate acknowledgement about their site alarms. Whereas in the water and oil and gas industry, the user are generally not restrained having an event or alarm data straight away, and they're more concerned about the event itself. For example, tank level high, pump station fail, arc flash fault, smoke alarms, fire alarms, intruders alarms. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call, drop us an email, and we're happy to help you out.